Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's talk about multiplying by 10. There's two things that you need to do. Either you add a zero to the end of the number you're multiplying, or you move the decimal place over to the right one spot. Let's start with adding a zero to the number. Here we're multiplying 10 times 2. Add a zero to 2, we get 20. The answer, therefore, is 20. 10 times 12, add a zero to the 12, and you get 120. 10 times 27, add a 0 to the 27, you get 270. 10 times 400, add a 0, you get 4,000. And 10 times 2,000, add a 0, you get 20,000. So all you have to do when you multiply times 10, you simply add a 0 to the number. Or, if the number has a decimal place like this, then you move the decimal place over one spot. So 10 times 2.4, move the decimal place over 1, and you get 24. 10 times 3.6, move the decimal place over 1, you get 36. 10 times 128.4, move the decimal place over 1, you get 1,284. If you have something like this where there's two decimal places, you still move the decimal place over one spot, and this will then become 300.8, or 0.8, 10 times 4.165, move the decimal place over 1, you get 41.65. On the next number here, when there's so many zeros there, it makes it a little bit more confusing. And sometimes it's easier to do it like this. This is equal to 0 0.0052. And we physically moved the decimal place over like that. We physically show what it looks like. And so you can see that's equal to 0 0.052. Same with this number right here, since there's so many zeros there, you can see that by physically moving the decimal place over here when you multiply times 10, so the decimal place ends up over there, you can then say it's 0 0.001. Another thing we should be aware of is, what if we have these things in reverse? What if we have the number 27 times 10, or the number 400 times 10? It doesn't matter if it's 10 times 27 or 27 times 10. We simply add this 0 to the other number, and this becomes 270. We simply add this 0 to the other number, and this becomes 4,000. Also, when we're dealing with decimal places like this, if we have the number 4.165 times 10, again, it doesn't matter which number comes first. With multiplication, they call that the commutative property, not that we need to know that yet, but what we need, what we do here is simply move the decimal place over one spot like this, and this then becomes 41.65. So it doesn't matter if you write 10 times 4.165 or 4.165 times 10, you simply move the decimal place over one spot. That's how we deal with multiplication with 10. It's one of the easiest things to do, either add a zero or move the decimal place over one spot, and that's how we multiply times 10.